Hello, I'm Dr. King M. Sam, a plastic surgeon from Sun Plastic Surgery. Breast augmentation is performed by adding implants on the chest to increase the size of the breast. There are about three ways to insert these implants. First is by making a transaxillary incision, second is by inframammary incision, and third is the periareolar incision. But the third method, periareolar incision, has a few downsides, so it's less performed in Korea, while the other two, transaxillary and inframammary incisions, are performed here in Korea. In the case of breast augmentation, the area is quite big, so it's difficult to perform the procedure under local anesthesia or sedation. Therefore, general anesthesia is used as a rule. In some rare situations involving this procedure, spinal anesthesia is done on the patient. As the area for breast augmentation operation is the same level as our muscles for breathing, sometimes it could affect said muscles, so I do not recommend it. In our hospital, General anesthesia is the default choice. <laughs> I've heard this question a lot of times, actually. The surgery should never even come close to touching your breast tissue. The implants are often located in two areas. It's dependent on our large thoracic muscle, on whether the implants should be placed under or on the top. In both ways, do not touch the breast tissue, if that's a concern. So, there should be no problems when it comes to breastfeeding. When it comes to scarring after the operation, in my opinion, say the implant is in the size of 350cc. Under that 350cc, the incision is 2.5 cm, and 350cc and above would mean 3 cm. If you have a ruler lying around, you'd be able to see how long 2.5 cm is. Compared to the size of the implant, the area of the cut is so minor that a scar really isn't that noticeable. This question actually also relates to the previous question regarding breastfeeding. The disease that occurs in the breast itself has nothing to do with the implants. That's because the places they're inserted into are different. Before the breast augmentation, an ultrasound or an x-ray is performed to check if there are any problems. Of course, breast problems can occur after the surgery. However, it doesn't happen because of the implants that were placed inside. Another thing patients worry about is if they can get tested for breast cancer without the implants inside interfering, that's something they can totally do. Even if you take the breast cancer test, you won't have to worry about the bursting of implants because that's never going to happen. If you think about it, what we currently have in the market such as cohesive silicone gel implants, by the time when it first got the medical approval, we had to use saline implants instead of silicone implants. When the Food and Drug Administration reapproved these silicone implants, the first reason was for reconstruction purposes, especially when people only have one side having a breast after getting breast cancer surgery. The purpose of reconstruction was the main reason it got approved. If you think about it though, Cosmetic purposes can also be a purpose, but this procedure can be more utilized for reconstruction purposes. So I would say that this is a really helpful procedure. The most common concerns we have to be careful of is of course to prevent bleeding after surgery and taking some rest and a few other things. But in terms of breast augmentation, the difference from other surgeries is the movement of implants. No matter what incision or method the doctor uses to place the implants, there has to be a pathway where the implants need to pass. So if the implants move from the place we've put it in, the position of the breast changes. It depends on whether to use a band at the beginning or the cutting line, as it's important to wear these garments for three weeks to a month. Also, if you think about it, these implants have the possibility of moving up when you're asleep. So in cases of a transaxillary incision, we recommend our patients to wear an upper bandage for about three weeks when they lay down in sleep. 
Also, for those who do something like yoga, some postures can put pressure to your breasts, so you have to be extra careful of those for two months or so. Since it's a cosmetic surgery, many parts depend greatly on the patient's demands. The most important thing is the size and shape of the patient's chest. For example, we have what we commonly call a pigeon chest. That's when the middle part of their chest is protruded. In their cases, if the size of the implants get bigger, their breasts would look like they were far apart. On the other hand, those who have their chest re-entered, or something called the funnel chest, their breasts would appear closer to each other. So in cases like those, it's better not to use big implants in order to get a more natural result. Another thing is the size of the chest. To make a clear example, think of it as similar to the measurements we use for underwear like 70, 75, 80, 85. The size is a way to know if implants fit as the implants we use are rounded. So it's important to choose the appropriate diameter of the implant. It's the kind of content that cannot be easily explained with words alone. If you decide to get the procedure, it's best to select the shape with the help of a professional to know which one would be suitable for you. Most people think that breast augmentation is a big procedure that causes a lot of pain. But in my opinion, hypothetically, if we only consider the operation time, the time needed for the operation is only about 50 minutes. And discussing the pain, most people don't actually find it excruciating. As I always say, the pain only lasts for one day. The pain lasts for a day. Stiffness from the bandages lasts three days. And when that's removed, the recovery period is over within a week. So, for anyone who really wants the procedure, but they're worried about the pain and fear it might be a big procedure, you're always welcome to be here and have a consultation with me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See you soon.